Hello, student. So let's try to solve uh, one more problem from uh, uh, CSIR net examination, which was held actually in uh, in 16th September, which is actually June examination. Okay. So this is a classical mechanics problem, and it's a very fantastic problem because there are more than one concept are involved into the problem. So there is a wire, and this wire is massless, which is attached to a spring. And this is the position of this spring will always remain horizontal. And this uh, wire is uh, just rolled over this particular uh, pulley. This is just uh, touch this particular pulley. So, but uh, this uh, wire is not going to slip on this particular pulley. What is meaning of that? Meaning of that, if this pulley is going to rotate, suppose this pulley is going to rotate, then this wire is going downward. So if this wire will go downwards, we will just, uh, pull this particular mass with distance x and then we will lift it then what will happen due to this restoring force uh, developed from this particular spring this mass will do the oscillatory motion so what we have to do we have to find the angular frequency of this mass for a small oscillation so what is going to happen so obviously we have to write first lagrangian of a system and then we can solve the equation of motion and then we will approximate it uh, for the small oscillation. Now, suppose this uh, mass is moving x distance, that means this spring will also move x distance. And when this spring will move x distance and this mass will move x distance, that means this, this particular pulley is also going to rotate. And suppose that particular and uh, this particular pulley will get the angular velocity omega. So what is my Lagrangian of a system? So Lagrangian of a system is half m x dot square. This is the linear velocity. X dot is linear velocity of this particular mass. But due to this particular rotation, we have also uh, some extra kinetic energy. And this kinetic energy is half i omega square. We will discuss omega in detail manner and this is your kinetic energy and the potential energy is first potential energy is due to this particular uh, extension of uh, this particular spring and that value is equal to half k x square because if this mass will move x distance this spring will also move x distance and obviously we can take care of gravity so there is minus mg x i can put this particular uh, potential energy you can take some distance also but i am just telling you this is my zero and after just uh, uh, moving x distance it can have the potential energy minus mgx so there is not any harm to writing this particular thing now what you can see you can see the whole thing and now we have to calculate what is value of omega so now let us see this is my pulley so if this is moving distance d theta or angle d theta then this distance is a d theta hence this pulley is doing the rolling without slipping condition because uh, this mass is not slipping on this particular pulley it is just rotating and then it is going downward so what will happen a into d theta is equal to dx and that will be this distance and exactly mass will this mass will also move exactly this distance so we can go for dx upon dt is equal to a d theta upon dt. So from here, we can get, and that value is equal to, this implies x dot is equal to a omega, and omega is equal to x dot by a. So we can replace whole thing here. So when we are going to replace whole thing, then L is equal to half m, x dot square plus half i x dot square upon a square we can put the value of omega and this is the condition of rolling without slipping and minus half k x square plus we can take mg x there may be some extra distances also but that is constant we can assume that thing is zero so reference level will decide what is your uh, potential energy due to gravity now we have to go for uh, equation of motion del L upon del x dot 
minus del L upon del X must be equal to zero. And when we are going to solve it, then we will get half. This will be M plus uh, I upon A square x double dot plus kx minus mg is equal to 0. Now we can also simplify this differential equation. So obviously this whole thing is linear. This is constant. Then I can put kx minus mg is equal to y. So kx double dot is equal to y double dot. So x dot is equal to y double dot x double dot is equal to y double dot by k. So we can have equation. So that is m plus i upon a square. That is y double dot upon k plus y must be equal to 0. Now I am using this space. So we have m plus i upon a square y double dot plus ky is equal to 0. So from here, we can easily get the angular frequency. So angular frequency is equal to nothing but root under k by m plus i upon a square. And this can be written as k a square m a square plus i. So this is my angular frequency of this particular system. So it's a really fantastic question. Why it is fantastic question? Because first you have to learn how to write the Lagrangian. You have to also learn what will be meaning of rolling without slipping. And you have to, and obviously, and then finally equation of motion and the small oscillation is the ultimate part of this particular question. So practice this type of question. This is a very nice one. Thank you.